Hey everyone, this is Dana, and today we're going to head out to Sherrod Island, which is a county park out in Dixie County, Florida, on the Gulf Coast. We're going to check out some of the hurricane damage to the park and the surrounding area. But uh, the locals don't seem to mind the hurricane damage. They're still coming out here, even with the roads partially destroyed. Uh, here's one now, checking around for some uh, dinner. Now the road in the park was a little destroyed by the hurricane, but it has been patched back up with limestone. But as for the park itself, it's great because you can pull right up into the uh, beach area, park your car, and then you can camp right in this area too. But uh, all the services there were here, all that's left is the picnic pavilion. Everything else has pretty much been destroyed by the storm, so there's no electricity or bathroom facilities available at the park. So on your right's the restrooms, and then straight ahead of us was a gate that's now been wrapped around a post by the storm surge. Everything in this area has uh, just been destroyed. The beach itself is great, but uh, this is all the remnants that have been piled up from the storm. On the right there, there's whole slabs of concrete that are just piled up. And uh, this is where the electrical service seemed to enter the site. And the building has been completely knocked over, the conduit ripped out, and the electrical service has been safed out on the left there. So this is the entrance area where you're coming in and the entrance gate was just demolished and there's a bunch of debris stacked up in the woods from it. It's kind of like the back parking lot area, but it's filled with uh, debris, roofing debris mainly. From uh, the roofs of probably the picnic pavilion and the little electrical shelter and the, the restrooms is all sitting over here. This little building is actually one of the few on the site that seem to survive pretty well. This is the little well house uh, where they bring in fresh water for the site, but there's no electricity out here right now. So this is not in service, but the building survived. And here we have the piled up debris of what's left of the, some of the parking areas and camping areas, including what looked like electrical to some of the camping sites, but it's all been destroyed and then uh, piled up here. All right, after the tour of the hurricane damage there, let's take a walk north on the beach and we'll head out towards this little spit of land that goes between the estuaries and the Gulf itself. So where we're heading now is the northern point of the island itself. This uh, beach is fully covered with shells. There's all kinds of stuff to explore here. The northern point was uh, hit pretty good between uh, Shired Creek and the Gulf by the hurricane. So there's a lot of knocked over trees in the area. But it's still a great place to check out from between the, uh, the Gulf side and the Creek side. Now Shared Island is part of the Lower Suwannee Wildlife Refuge area. And uh, the actual park itself is owned by Dixie County, Florida, and is actually home to an archaeological site that's over 7,000 years old. The island has an extensive complex of Native American shell mounds that were originally surveyed by the University of Florida in the 1980s. One of these sites is described as a sand ridge running some 350 meters north-south with a 30 centimeter thick shell mound across most of the landform. Additional small mounds were located across the upland unit in the northeast of this spit. This is one of the most beautiful beaches on the Gulf Coast, especially up in the Nature Coast area. They actually call this Florida's Hidden Coast here in Dixie County. And you can really see why. It's really nice, preserved, and it's really quiet. And people have been coming here for almost 7,000 years enjoying this spot, and you can see why. So this is the trail that uh, should take you over to the boat launch area and right through the uh, side of the creek and some of the estuary grounds here. But you can see it's been washed out uh, from the last hurricane. And uh, it, it's hard to see in the background, but the remains of the pier are actually located out there because it blew it clear across the other side of the island. So go out right now and take a look at what's left of the fishing pier. And most of it's just underwater now. You can see there's some posts that were holding it up. And there's the uh, the walkway It's completely underwater and there's debris all in this area scattered around from where it just took the whole fishing pier and threw it everywhere. 
Evan didn't have a lot of luck out fishing today, but we did see a couple stingrays and some uh, crabs were in this area too, hanging out. Well, you think I tried to do it. So as we're leaving Shared Island here, let's take a look at some of this damage where the road's damaged. This is an older bridge here that's been gone for a while. Oh, and there's one of the locals hanging out again, looking for some uh, lunch. And here's some more of that uh, damage to the road. You can see it's all been covered with limestone, but there's just huge chunks of asphalt just thrown right out into the grasses there. Back to our local, he's, uh, he's still looking for something to eat. All right, you can see it's all washed out here over this bridge area. And just more huge chunks of asphalt laying out there in the grasslands. The tidal force must have just been amazing. It came through here and pushed all up against those palm trees and just laid it out there in the grass. All right, the beach, the wildlife, and the history have been amazing here on the island for the day, but it's time to head back home. So we'll check in with our local one last time and then get on out of here. I'll leave you with a parting shot from the beach. We're looking south over Johnston Creek, I believe it is, heading out towards the Gulf. So everyone, thanks for watching and have a great one. We'll see you next time.